Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. And what most uh, traders are looking at this morning is that surprisingly robust data coming out of, uh, of China. Trade balance much better than expected with a number of traders already questioning the reliability of that data as it came in at just the right time to give support to, uh, to Chinese stocks. But nevertheless, the markets have taken it in a stride. We've now posted two positive candles in most major markets and uh, things seem to be kind of stabilizing ever so slightly. In FX markets, we are beginning to see an unwinding of the safe haven assets. Japanese yen is down. The euro's lost a bit of momentum. Uh, and that's in the back of the uh, kind of carry trades unwinding as risk on seems to return back to the market. So we're seeing a little bit of dollar buying at the moment. And the sterling as well has managed to get itself uh, a little bit of a rebound following yesterday, yesterday's disastrous move, really. Um, US, uh, UK and uh, manufacturing output plummeted, missed expectations by a massive degree. And that caused a really strong sell off, especially on cable. And there's been a slight rebound this morning. But we'll get a chance to have a look at that in a second when we have a look at the charts. Um, crude oil as well, very, very much in focus. Uh, trading below $30 yesterday, albeit only for a very short period of time. That uh, kind of came up on many trader screens as, a, as quite a major uh, psychological level that was broken. We are trading a little bit above there right now, maybe $30.20. And that's a little bit in the back of the, uh, the, the 10 US uh, sailors being uh, detained by the Iranian Navy. Apparently, one of their gunboats broke down near uh, in the Persian Gulf, and they got picked up by the um, by uh, the, the opposing military forces. Um, so they're apparently going to get uh, released at some point soon, along with all their equipment. But I had a little bit of tension last night when that happened. But nevertheless, crude oil still very much in focus. But we're not seeing any massive spikes in the back of that hopefully minor incident uh, in the area. But without further ado, let's go ahead and have a look at the US 30 uh, and the rest of the major products Some very interesting technical levels for us to look at and the backdrop of all of these fundamentals as well. So let's start off there with the US 30. Uh, you can see that we uh, managed to have a positive day yesterday. Another uh, positive move so far today. 80% of CMC markets clients by position value are currently short in this market. So they're hoping that uh, this rally is going to be short lived. We are in the middle of two ranges right now, 16708 and 16. 476 um, and the other technicals are actually the uh, RSI is giving a buy signal right now the other technicals are relatively neutral and we're quite far away from those moving averages so uh, more a lot of eyes having a look at that US market just now and it's very interesting that it's trading so close to the top of its range at the start of the day so traders are certainly taking that Chinese data as a, as a reason to get back involved in the longs but we have come off a lot in the last number of sessions uh, the question is is it a dead cat bounce so looking at the uh, UK 100 and uh, what we're seeing here is, uh, is uh, again a very strong move, very uh, interesting kind of doji formation that we would have had yesterday. We did manage to have a positive day, but uh, only just, but we've gotten great guns this morning. 64% of CMC markets clients are currently long, the other technicals are currently neutral. Moving on to Japan 225, we had a beautiful bounce of that support level. We had that on Monday, had it again there on Tuesday, and we're moving a little bit higher this morning. The RSI is giving that uh, buy signal. The slow stochastic is, is still currently oversold, not yet breaking back through that 20% level, but we have a massive 98% short position by CMC clients. So um, it seems to be there are there, there is some big money that thinks that this move is currently fleeting in nature. Moving on to dollar yen, uh, dollar yen having bounced off 116 spot 80 there on Monday. Doji formation yesterday, another big move this morning. As I said, the yen is getting unwound at the moment as a safe haven asset. 54% of CMC market clients are currently long, showing a bit of indecision. 118 spot 33 is a potential resistance, uh, which is where the market is currently trading right now. Let's have a look at West Texas. So we, did, we discussed yesterday that we did trade below $30. We had a rejection of that level to push up higher. We were much higher actually. We were in firmly positive territory. Sold off a lot towards the end of the session. We're at the top end of the range this morning. 92% of CMC markets clients are currently long. Uh, the RSI is close to giving a buy signal. Slow stochastic isn't really doing anything right now. Um, to be fair, 31 spot 57 is a short term potential resistance. You can't really get that excited by gold again until it breaks above there. And there's big question marks if that's going to happen today. So then having a quick look at gold. Uh, gold's not been having a great uh, last couple of sessions. Four sessions in a row is coming off. Very surprising. One, okay, safe haven asset. I'd expect it to come off a little bit today. But everybody's downplaying interest rates in the US. I, I would have thought we would see more moves in gold. 
67% uh, of CMC market clients are currently short. So they're obviously quite happy about this move that we're having just now. We're trading below the 55 period SMA. We're coming up close to the 21 period SMA. The other technicals, well, the MACDs, the, the histogram is getting shorter. It's getting close to breaking the zero line as well. Whereas the RSI and the slow stochastic are not really doing a huge amount right now. Uh, but we are at the bottom end of gold's, gold's range at the moment. And uh, it'll be interesting to see where that goes just now. Again, surprising that it's, uh, it's retreating uh, so aggressively and all those, uh, the backdrop of those fundamentals. Looking at the euro, uh, euro versus the US dollar, you can see we're back on uh, potential support at 1.0810. We're pretty much on that level just now. We've been trading below both moving averages. CMC Marcus clients are 77% short by position value and the other technicals are relatively neutral. If we break below 1.08 and 10, we'd be looking at the tips of these candles as being the next potential support and failing that 1.0660, which was our support level from, uh, from all the way back in April. Could be a descending triangle formation, one thing to watch out for. And then if we look at GBP USD, uh, you can see how far we fell, fell yesterday in the back of that manufacturing output number. We did have a recovery. Um, when I last looked at this, we were in positive territory actually for, uh, for the sterling versus US dollar. It's gone back negative again. You'd be looking at the tip of this candle as being short-term potential support followed by one spot 4230. One last quick look at the, uh, at the economic data. Um, you can see the, uh, the trade balance data that, that came out much better than expected in China. Uh, so far today, we've got the petroleum uh, report. That's going to be very, very useful, obviously, if you're looking to trade crude oil today. And then tomorrow gives you the UK interest rate and the US unemployment claims. Well, guys, that's it for me. Join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next. Thank you very much and bye-bye.